got Vince and I are in the van, can't get the switches to work. We're gonna do some rewiring. So this one is basically ruined and we don't use this toggle switch or this toggle switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the back of this off and we're gonna swap some wiring here to make things work. So I'm just gonna take a picture of this quickly. My assistant here will be assisting me. I've just been standing here. Yeah, we're gonna fix this door. So basically we're stuck here, the emergency release. We just open this right now. We're gonna rewire everything and get ourselves back on the road. Yes. Okay, so what we did was we basically took this. Now notice that all of the whites are all combo together. So that's the same thing there. The only difference on this is that we've got a purple, or sorry, we have an orange jumper that comes in here. So we got the switch. Okay, you can hear that that, that runs the motor. And if we wanna run it the opposite direction, we just pull that and, and drop this blue one in there because it's not a, it's a two-way, it's a one-way rocker switch, which is fine, not a big deal, because we've got what we need. Notice that each one of these already has a purple and a white in, okay? And then we've got red, which is our power, which is coming in. So next step is we're trying to get this to re-engage. Oh, oh, oh. And the problem is what it does is it disengages the teeth on the door. So the next step is we were gonna pull all of these four pieces so we can get in there and we can see what's going on because right now, door open and opens and closes just fine, but we cannot get it to re-engage and something's stuck in there. So we're gonna pop that loose. Take a look at that. Good news, I have this, which is, let's get in here so we can see it. This is called a monkey wrench. It fits in your wallet. It's got a, a Phillips, it's got a square bit. I mean, this thing can do anything. So we are gonna tear this apart and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so next step, we got all of the screws out of this. Notice the mechanical function of the door is in and out here. I thought it was some gears in here with some teeth. We're trying to get this to re-engage. So we're gonna pull this apart now. Take a look, you can actually see in here, inner workings of this. This is a motor, this is the opens and closes and notice that you've got your teeth down here. And my thought is, is it, no, we're pretty, you can see how that actually functions. Same wiring harness up here that we were seeing down below. The real question is, can we see where this is binding up. Oh, and that actually moves this whole unit right here on a pivot, which then engages with these teeth here, which are both on a ball joint, which if I pull this way, actually, let me see that for a moment. So you can see right down in there, if you can see past, but right underneath my thumb here is another sprocket. And that sprocket is where things are not marrying up. And I'm not 100% sure why. That is the next step because these, the way that they're already set up, those operate, okay? Those move and they connect or they actually run off this sprocket down in here here, which I wish I could, here's a better idea. Maybe you can show it this way. Down in there, that's the actual sprocket that we're trying to get engaged. And when you pull this, it brings that forward to engage in it. And actually it's not even the sprocket that's binding up. Just need to get a lever and help crank this forward with some more leverage. which if we're taking a look at it, this actual mechanical arm right here, so you can see that, there we go. So this is moved, okay? And that's where you've got your handle right here, the in and the out, the yin and the yang, and for some reason, that is jamming up right here. 
here is our mechanical stop there. Here's your lever uh, that's pushing that in and out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a lever on this, see if we can assist that forward. And that'll bring the teeth of the sprocket underneath this motor into contact with this. We got the door rewired. We should be good to go. Our temporary fix on the way back. So we'll get back. Vince and I just shot a bunch of video explaining how we tore this apart, got this thing to flip over. We rewired the switch down here. So orange is closed, blue is open. Okay, I'll do that with one, when I have two hands. Um, orange out, blue in. Just needs a new rocker switch. And it's on, so don't even push it all the way on. Take it off, and then you turn it on. Perfect. Yeah. <coughs> so we got everything rewired. Now, I can get out. now we're gonna get out. We're gonna leave the door like this. We're gonna take in the groceries. Uh, I, all I need now really is to get a screwdriver to put everything back together, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is just literally another day of being a track coach at a Division II institution. Fixing things, so transportation department we need a new rocker switch so the door works see you guys all right so lucky me just got this screwdriver from the front desk that means i also got a new room card so props marriott we're at the residence inn in daytona beach right now props marriott for being there when we actually need some assistance but i am headed out right now beautiful day at the pool uh headed out from the actual property here to try to get everything put together back on the on the bus so we can get the door closed. Now don't worry, it wasn't like the door was wide open when we we're cruising down the interstate. It's just these mechanical rocker switches break down over time. And you know, we just I just figured to tear it apart, rewire it. Because there's really no other way to get the door open and closed. Sorry about the wind. Let's get this. Okay, here we are, we're back to the bus. You can see the doors are wide open. You can see I've got everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this out so I can just change that jumper out because it's a blue jumper and it's a red jumper, or sorry, it's a blue jumper and an orange jumper to open and close at. I already got power and all the other stuff. I'm gonna get this panel close back up because I'm not going to need to open and close that emergency release anymore. Overall, it should be a super like simple, quick fix. Going to get that knocked out, going to get upstairs, get myself some lunch, get everything put together here. And then we're going to be back on the road. Competition starts at four o'clock today. Okay. So next thing I need to do, get all of this tilted back into place here. Get this cover locked down. Um, just got to make sure got this harness that comes through here and I just got to get this all set up so everything fits in the right spot. I'm going to leave this out and expose so I've got access to the back of those rocker switches so that I can open and close this door. But that's next steps. Okay, so last segment here, you've got, uh, we've got our blue one, we got our orange one here. Um, this is our new rocker switch where, we, where we've posted everything. I've got that rocker switch set. So now the door opens. I want to close the door. Just move that extra jumper there. She's closed. Enhances our security. I'm not worried about anything here. I do want to put maybe like a piece of tape just on blue and orange here. Make sure that we remember that's the ones that we're using. But again, I know what's going on. I'm uh, just going to tell transportation when I get back, got to get that fixed.